In this video, we're going to talk about how to configure application block pages in your Palo Alto firewall. Now, your first question may be, what is an application block page? Well, let's go ahead and see what those are and why we might want them. So here I have an existing configuration, and if we look at our outside policy or our policy to get to the outside, we can go ahead and we look under the application tab and we see several applications have been identified. The one I'm specifically interested in here is the Google Maps application. Now, just to confirm that these are working, let's go ahead and open up first off Google and Google Maps. All right, so we see that these are working. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna remove Google Maps and say okay and commit the change. What we wanna do is kind of highlight what happens when the block pages are not included. All right, so now that's committed, let's go ahead and go back to Google. This should work, google.com should work. And then we go to maps.google.com and we get a very cryptic error message. Just page cannot be reached. Um, you know, it's, it's very cryptic. It says it might be down, it might have moved. Uh, if an end user was to receive this message, it would be very difficult to understand whether the site was working, whether the IT was blocking the site, um, you know, what exactly was going on. So that is how you would block the, the protocols, but that's just not user friendly. So in order to do that, it would be helpful if we could pop up some sort of a block page that says, that's a little bit more descriptive as far as what's going on. So to do that, we come over to the device tab. On the device tab, on the left-hand side, if we scroll on down, we can see down right here is response pages. Click on response pages, and we'll see that there are lots of different response pages available to us. Specifically right here, application block page, and it is listed as disabled. Well, let's click on that and enable it, and then say okay. Now we go ahead and commit. Close down my extra tabs there while that's committing. So we're just simply turning on the block pages and then committing the changes. Once the commit's done, we'll review and see exactly what it looks like. All right, so now we go to maps.google.com. And now we get a block page, an actual page that says, hey, this application has been blocked, uh, doesn't meet company policy. Uh, specifically, here's who you are and here's the application you're trying to, to access. This is then helpful for the end user to be able to say, oh, yes, this is definitely something I shouldn't be doing, or to be able to then forward to the IT department and say, hey, I need access to Google Maps as part of my job. Please open it back up.